And a Harrisburg native has a new heart. Surgeons at Duke University Hospital were the first in North America to implant the new generation artificial heart. Our Robin Kennedy is live in the newsroom. And Robin, you spoke with the patient from his hospital bed today. How's he doing? He is doing well, Lindsay, but he doesn't yet know when he'll get to go home from the hospital. He does know he will get to see his young son tomorrow thanks to his new heart. You know, I basically have eight batteries over here um, that that keep me charged and ready to roll. But he also can be um, plugged into the wall. <laughs> there is an AC. Yeah, yeah, I can, I, can also, <laughs> I can also be plugged into the wall. <laughs> Just call him the bionic man. Matthew Moore, who grew up in Harrisburg, is one of only 20 people in the world to have a new heart like this one. Duke surgeons were the first in North America to implant this new generation artificial heart in Matthew just two and a half weeks ago. I don't have a heart, but I have a lot of heart and I, uh, I constantly hear puppy dog sounds from this machine, but it's great. Matthew's heart was failing when he went to Duke. At the hospital, he went into cardiac arrest and had to be shocked 17 times. Kind of come back from the dead and then have a mechanical heart. <laughs> Doctors suggested that Matthew take part in a clinical trial for the artificial heart developed by Carmat. Matthew has batteries to charge his heart. Its biological valves are made of tissue from a cow. Matthew's wife, who's a nurse, got emotional as she spoke days after Matthew's surgery. I just honestly didn't do anything but just stare at him. Um, just because it's just a miracle he's with us. Um, and I am just, I'm, I'm so grateful. Matthew will get to hold his three-year-old son, Marshall, for the first time in over a month on Matthew's birthday. It means the world to me just because my son is my motivation to be able to give him a good life. Now, Matthew's new heart is meant to be temporary. Doctors believe he will eventually need a heart transplant. Ryan. Thank you, Robin.